And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Little Ladies Day event at Final Fantasy XIV for 2023. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, so we are here in um, Ordua Steps of Nold at 10.8. And we need to talk to the Royal Senechal. The quest is called Inheritance. The Royal Senechal has a new event in mind to bring smiles to all the princesses of the realm. And we'll get the Ballroom Etiquette Fanfare. So, our greetings, my friend. Tis good to see you, and very good indeed, as it just so happens that there is a matter with which I require assistance. Um, as you'll be aware, another little ladies' day is upon us, and we are celebrating all ladies' princesses attending to their every need. Uh, for this year's celebration, we are planning to distribute replicas of an antique folding fan to participants. Wishing to learn more about said fan, Miss um, A. Diliaf a scion of House Fawn has taken it upon herself to investigate its origins. Alas, she has ever had a frail con constitution and is feeling unwell. For now, she rests at my um, insistence, but passionate as she is about the celebration, I worry that she won't stay put. Thus, would I turn to you for help? In order to take the burden off my lady, who is also a treasured princess this day, might I prevail upon you to assist with her investigation? Um, I'm grateful. Uh, now Miss Adeliaf uh, should be resting on a bench in the gold court, so pray seek her out there. I leave her in your capable hands. Alright, let's go. Okay, we made it, so let's talk to her. Sigh. Oh, my apologies. I didn't notice you were there. It's been quite some time. You are well, I trust. If you are looking to partake in the festivities, I would be happy to point you in the direction of the Royal Sanichal. So the Royal Sanichal sent you? Well, I would be lying if I said that I didn't need help. I'm in a worse way than I had realized. I'm supposed to meet with two people as part of my investigation, but loath as I am to admit it, I am in no condition to be up and about. As you may already know, I'm investigating the origins of an antique folding fan, the very one beside me which I found in the Fawn Manor one day. Curious about the design which is unseen in Aldar, I turned to the history books and discovered that it is of a style used in the palace during the Fawn dynasty. Further research revealed that Princess Edyav, my ancestor who gave rise to Little Lady's Day, once used such a fan in a dance she performed at a royal sorority. Um, it, was a very, it was very beautiful by all accounts and I should have liked to see it. Inspired by this discovery, I consulted the Royal Senate Chow, and it was decided that we would make replicas of the fan as gifts for this year's celebration. However, when we showed the fan to the artisan we hired, he declared that while um, undeniably designed in the Fawn style, it was crafted much more recently, no more than a few decades ago at most. This led me to wonder who had this fan made and why. With my mother no longer with us, I went and asked my father, but he claimed to know nothing about it and said no more. Though he married into the family, he is the present head of House Fawn. If even he does not know, then I have to seek answers elsewhere. Additionally, if we learned how the fan was used during Princess Edyev's time, I thought that we could share the knowledge during the celebration. Thus did I arrange to meet with people who are versed in the history of our family. Um, as I am now, however, I can scarcely stand without feeling faint. I am sorry to impose, but might I trouble you to attend the appointments in my stead? I'm in your debt. Now, you will want to take the fan with you.
Uh, please show it when you meet the individuals in question. One is a reporter from the Mifra Eye who will be at the um, Arzenef Ossery, and the other is a historian who will be at the Quicksand. All right, let's go. Okay, we made it to the Quicksand. Let's talk to the grizzled historian. So, can I help you with something? I'm actually supposed to meet someone here, but she appears to be late. Let's hand over the fan. Ah, so you come on Miss Adieu's behalf, and this is a fan she wished to me to inspect. Indeed, it is of the style hailing from the Fawn Dynasty. It is said that Princess Edyev carries such a fan when she attended functions. In those days, it was considered meet for noble women to cover their faces, to which end they carried folding fans on their persons. But as the legend of the lost lady would attest, Princess Edyev didn't concern herself with social norms. And at a royal soiree, far from using her fan to cover her face, she used it to perform an impromptu dance. The Sultan and um, his retinue um, of Senechals looked on aghast, but the guests were captivated by her performance and erupted into rapturous applause when she finished. Uh, that dance came to be known as Little Lady's Dance, and it is said so... Um, have been passed down through the women of House Fawn. Uh, the fan you hold, I expect, was crafted from that for that very purpose. Curious though, as a daughter of House Fawn, it seems to me that Miss Edyev should be aware of this legacy. In any case, I hope I was able to be of some help to her. Pray pass along my regards. Okay, let's now go to the reporter. Okay, we're at the reporter now. So, where could Edyeva be? Ah, can I help you? So, again, let's show the report of the fan. I didn't mean to put my hand in your torso. So, this fan, Adyav uh, sent you, I take it. Very well, then I'll tell you what I know. Um, when... Um, Adliaf reached out about an antique fan she found, I was instantly reminded of a similar one that I saw long ago. By description alone, I couldn't uh, be certain, but to see it here and now, there's no doubt in my mind. This fan once belonged to Adliaf's mother, Claudia. She was still half a girl at the time, 15 summers old perhaps, when I interviewed her for a Little Ladies Day article. Uh, that day, she had this very fan with her. She was out of sorts, so, though, and begged to sit down and rest. As tired as she looked, I decided to cut the interview short and ended up writing about something else. I must say that I find it a little strange that Adiaf should ask me about the fan. It belonged to her mother, after all. Surely she would know about it? But her mother has passed, no? Okay, well, let's go back to Adyaf. Okay, we made it back to her. So, ah, you are returned. Thank you for attending the appointments in my stead. So did you learn aught of interest? Let's give her back the fan. So what, the fan was my mother's? And it was used to perform Little Lady's Dance, a dance passed down through the women of our line. I... Uh, forgive me, but I'm not sure what to think. I never knew about any of this, about neither the fan nor the, sta the dance. Why didn't my mother share the tradition with me? Perhaps she was also unaware of it? Perhaps she didn't have the chance. Yes, I feel that is the only plausible explanation. My mother succumbed to illness when I was little. Even if she had wished to pass on the tradition, she never had the chance to do so. But that as it may, my father must have known something. 
Um, I know not why he claimed otherwise and feigned ignorance about the de their fan, nor do I expect that he would willingly talk. So I want to know um, about the dance and about my mother. I'm sorry to impose yet again, adventurer, but won't you help me find the answers? Uh, this means a lot to me, thank you. Uh, now then, if my mother appeared at Little Lady's Day with her fan, it seems likely that she performed the dance there. On that assumption, I propose that we look for those who knew my mother around when she was involved in the festival. For this, a wealthy middle-aged folk seems a likely place to start. Uh, chances are they at least cross paths with her in social circles. To that end, could you please try approaching affluent-looking individuals at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange and um, Estime's aesthetics? I shall await you there. Oh, sorry, await you here. Cool. Let's go. Okay, we got to the first person. They're called the Willowy Noblewoman. So, what's that? Do I know Claudia Fawn and the dance she used to perform? May I ask who is asking? Uh, goodness me, to think Adyafa um, had no idea. I was good friends with her mother, I am proud to say, and would be glad to share what I know. Uh, she was quite final, was Claudia, and constantly looked ill. As a result, she seldom attended social functions, and certainly never performed the little lady's dance in return. Um, she did, however, show it to me in private, and I consider myself blessed. It was so beautiful, I begged to learn it from her. Uh, she kindly taught me, and she would have dearly loved to teach. Um, Adliaf, uh, too, I'm sure. It breaks my heart that she never had the chance. But if Adliaf is keen to learn the dance, nothing would please me more than to teach it. A poor substitute, though, I may be for her mother. Uh, she waits at the gold court, yes. Um, I shall go and find her there at once. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we're now at the next person, the Haughty Mother. So, a fond woman who once danced at the festival. I'm afraid that I'm not familiar with Little Ladies Day um, has always been Common Folks Festival after all. Um, if anyone were to know, I dare say it would be the head of the Fawn family. It is under their aus auspices that the celebration take place. Cool. Let's go. Okay, we made it to the last person. Is called the Restless Nobleman. Uh, where in the world did she disappear to? So what, did I ever see the dance performed by Claudia Fawn? Um, as it happens, yes. Yes, I did. It was during a Little Lady Day celebration many years ago. Claudia was participating for the first time, and I had the honour of being her guide. Uh, by the way of thanks for my company, she showed me the dance. Flourishing her fan, she moved with such majestic grace, I was left utterly transfixed. A dance so lovely that she should be seen by all. Um, won't you perform it on stage at the festival, I suggested? And to my delight, she agreed with a smile. But no sooner did she finish um, entrap enrapturing the crowds than she retreated out of sight and all but collapsed to the ground. Um, it was then that I learned of her frail constitution. Though I hadn't been aware, I felt no less terrible for making her overexert herself. I apologized profusely, begging her not to push herself ever again. And the sad look on her face when she nodded is something I have not forgotten to this day. Ah, but look at me, prattle on to a complete stranger. My apologies. Now then, I was in the midst of looking for someone, so I shall excuse myself. Cool. Let's go back to Adliaf. Okay, we're back with her again. So, oh, there you are. A woman was here just now. She told me that she was a friend of my mother's and kindly taught me how to perform the little lady's dance. It was as beautiful as I imagined it, it would be, and I could not thank you enough uh, for finding this person. Now then, were you able to learn or from anyone else?
So my mother once performed the dance before a crowd, but the exertion was too much for her. From what I have seen, now seen, the movements may indeed be trying to those of poor health. Um, those such as myself, thus did my father choose to keep the dance a secret from me, out of concern for my well-being. Or so I suspect, at any rate. So, Lady Adilaf, thank heavens I found you. Uh, Rudolf, uh, what happened to your red nose? So, what am I doing here? Begging your pardons, my lady, but you disappeared from the manor without a word. Both your father and I have been worried sick. And all's well that ends well, and I see now that you were in good hands. Uh, thank you, good madam, for looking after the young mistress once more. Now then, my lady, even as we speak, your father searches for you in the city. If you feel strong enough, let us seek him out together. It would set his mind at ease. Yes, of course. Thanks to you, I've discovered things I never knew about my family, and I would have you by my at my side when I meet my father. Will you come with me? Thank you, your presence will give me the courage to seek the truth. Uh, Master Fortin should be somewhere in the Ruby Road Exchange. Please follow me. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are here. Let's talk to him. So, you're the woman from earlier. I should have guessed that you were the one who aided my daughter. So, I said uh, what I said, not realizing that you had come to, at her behest. But what's done is done. Now, allow me to probably introduce myself. Uh, Fontin Fawn, head of the Fawn family at your service. Uh, no more secrets, father. Why did you hide the truth from me? Um, I couldn't bring myself to tell you, even as that fan and that dance um, hold fond memories of your mother, uh, they are a painful reminder that she is gone. So I couldn't bear to lose you as well. Uh, so please, return the fan and forget about the dance. So, Father, I understand full well why you feel this way. Were I in your position, I would likely feel the same. But as much as I am touched by your concern, I know about everything now. About Mother, about the fan, and even the dance. Interesting sound effects. Bodia? Uh, Lady Adelaf, um, that was extraordinary. Where in the world did you learn how to dance so beautifully? An old friend of mother's uh, taught me. Despite all these years, she still remembered the entire dance down to the smallest flourish. Uh, mother brought you great joy when she danced for you that day. Um, on coming to understand this, I knew that I wanted you to experience that joy again. Uh, Adli Diafa. I should have given you an easier name. Uh, 
Like I must apologise to your mother, I must now apologise to you. Um, it was wrong of me to hide the fan and the dance from you, and I hoped you find it in your heart to forgive me. If it is your desire to carry on the tradition, then I will not stand in your way. Uh, thank you, but you know, Father, it is Little Lady's Day. Rather than an apology, is there not a more appropriate gesture for the occasion? Um, as you may, my princess, as you say, I, Fortin Four, and head of the Fawn family, do hereby pledge to serve as your royal seneschal. Your every wish is my command. Except perhaps when I judge that you are overexerting yourself. After all, your highness. Uh, your Highness's well-being is my fourth most priority. I shall bear that in mind. Without further ado then, my first wish is to instruct my festival staff in Little Lady's Dance, that we may share it with all who participate in the festivities. If that is your wish, then it is mine as well. On this day, all ladies are princesses, and everyone should be by right um, inherit the dance passed down in our family. Um, I have a gift for you, adventurer. As a token of my gratitude, it isn't much, but please accept these instructions for the dance, along with a replica of my mother's fan. Uh, now then, there is no time to waste. We must distribute these fans to as many people as possible and share with them the history of the dance. This will be a little lady's day to remember. Oh yes, it will. Cool. So let's complete. I got the tr achievement, her greatest fan. And then let's see. I've used the dance. I've learned fan fave. Let's see if there's anything else for us to get from this event. Let's see. Let's talk to this uh, royal handmaiden, maybe. Okay, there is a couple of things. So we can get an orchestra and roll. And a lovely little ladies' day picture as well. And you can get confetti if you don't have a lot already. All right. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.